Hi there, this is Solitaire Ronan from Solitaire Ronan Films and welcome to the final part of my Darden season and today we're going to talk about Young Ahmed from 2019 this is probably their most polarising film not necessarily for the film itself but what the subject matter is about um, this is about a young Muslim boy played by Adir Ben Adi who lives in the same Belgian town universe um, of the Dardens um, and follows his kind of radicalization um, as he, his focus um, is on a school teacher who is going to do a class to teach Arabic but in song form and his imam is kind of against that because that's not the pure Arabic teachings in the Quran and Ahmed ends up um, attacking the teacher and essentially trying to kill her um, with a knife and he ends up going into this kind of custody home where he is um, sent on a farm to help out and there's a girl on the farm who kind of falls for him um, and it's about whether he can change or whether his beliefs are too strong. Now this is a Kino Lorber Region A Blu-ray, which has an interview with the Dardens, which is well worth a watch because um, it gives you some context as to why they made the film. Obviously it's a kind of hot topic issue. They made this in 2019, which was four years after um, the Charlie Hedbo attacks in Paris and other attacks in Paris and Belgium, which were made by radicalised Muslims. Um, who were French and Belgian um, so the Dardens just wanted to look at this again this film there's lots of one star reviews for it which I think is perhaps not what the about the film necessarily about what the film is about um, personally I don't think it's an anti-Muslim film it's not a pro-Muslim film um, it's because of the Dardenne style, they're just showing you things. Obviously, radicalised Muslims are a minority in the Muslim community. Um, and yes, that minority is focused on because of events that have happened. But again, I don't think this is an anti-Muslim film. This is more about can we change as human beings. I'm not going to go into any more of the plot. Um, you're going to have to watch it yourself as far as is there a change. But regardless of what your belief system is, regardless of how strong they are, it's whether can we change um, or are we just set in our ways. I mean, I'm not a Muslim. I'm not religious. So you can view the film, again, because the Dardens, their style just shows you things. They don't judge the way um, all good artists shouldn't judge. So you bring in your own prejudices um, or your own thoughts um, to the film. So everybody, like most films, everybody is going to have a different opinion in a different way they react to the film. Um, personally, I think religion should be abolished. Um, it's bizarre to me that we're in the 21st century and people still believe in invisible friends. But again, that's just me. 
So that's not an anti-Muslim statement, that is an anti-all religion statement. Um, but the film itself still has all those Dardenne tropes, it has regular um, Dardenne actors, even though Olivier Gourmet is not in it, which is a shock. Um, they only use music when it fades to black and then the titles happen. Um, which is obviously, I would be worried if they were starting to use music. Um, but I think it probably is one of my least favourite Dardens. And again, it's nothing to do with subject matter. I think it's brave for them to do it, because I think there's lots of directors that wouldn't touch this subject matter with a barge pole. So whether you like the film or don't like the film, I think they should still be given credit for doing the film. Um, but I think one of the problems is the main character, Ahmed, because he is um, the least engaging one of their central characters. I mean, even the main character in Kid with a Bike, who is not a very nice person, there's still a drive to him that you kind of there is something engaging about him. I think Ahmed's character, there's not really that much that you can engage with. Um, it's a fairly simple premise, as most of the Dardenne films are, really. Um, but as always, it's just how you engage with the characters, how much you're invested in the characters. And I think the central character in this one is perhaps not as engaging as the others. But it's 90 minutes, it runs um, at a really good clip, as most Dardenne films do. Um, but I do think it's perhaps not amongst their best ones, just because of that. Um, you're still hooked at the start because you're literally dropped in as Ahmed's running upstairs to the bathroom. He does appear in bathrooms quite a lot, um, but for other reasons, um, um, apart from the normal reasons for going to the bathroom. Um, so bathrooms feature heavily in this film, as do toothbrushes. Um, again, it's about, you know, being a true Muslim, a pure Muslim, or an integrated Muslim into society. It's about, you know, there's arrangements made for him to see um, the teacher that he attacked to kind of get some perspective of what he's done to her. Um, again, there's the issue of changing and you have to change. Everybody's telling him you have to change. Um, and again, how much of that changing affects who you are as a person and your beliefs. Um, it's certainly a challenging film because of the subject matter. Um, it is interesting, this is obviously their last film so far. I don't know whether they're working on any others or whether they've been blackballed for um, making this one. Um, so it's certainly controversial just because of the subject matter um, and again if you show something in a negative light that automatically makes it anti something but again the Dardens throughout their entire filmography aren't really anti anything or pro anything they're literally just showing you characters showing you people living their lives, making choices um, and the consequences of those choices and then it's really up to you to bring something to the film with your own thoughts and beliefs and prejudices and um, things like that. So that's Young Ahmed, probably um, along with 
the kid with a bike because again that subject matter didn't really resonate with me as much as the other ones of the films so probably those two would be probably near the bottom of my rankings for the Dardens but again that's just personal preference obviously because we all see films differently but overall I would say I have really enjoyed this Darden season. I hope you have too. They're really impressive filmmakers. Again, that simplicity of just dropping the audience in it rather than giving lots of exposition and lots of preamble and lots of character motivation. You just drop the audience in and you are automatically hooked. I think it's just such a simple thing and I don't understand why more filmmakers don't do that. Um, so I mean, like I've said earlier in other videos, the Dardens have really rocketed up the director rankings for me. Um, really interesting because they're all about an hour and a half. They don't outstay their welcome. I think the way they do things as far as kind of handheld, lots of lots of the time like amateur actors, um, even though obviously they have regulars, setting it all in the one shared universe, far greater than the Marvel shared universe. Um, I think if they were two hours long or two and a half hours long, I think they just wouldn't work as well. Um, and again, their films are really about moral choices um, and consequences of that in this post-industrial world. And I think you can relate to that um, and you can put yourself in character shoes. Obviously, in not all of the films, because again, it depends on your viewpoint, which ones resonate with you more. Um, but these are nine films again the first two are really hard to find um, maybe one day they might get released um, but these nine that I've talked about are really good films there's at least three or four that are um, probably five star films in my opinion um, Young Ahmed is not one of them but I mean that's you can't do nine masterpieces out of nine, that's pretty hard to do. Um, again, it's pretty hard to do a good film, let alone um, doing great film after great film after great film. But I would say the Darden Brothers batting average is pretty high, for me at least, again. Um, you could watch them and dislike them all, and that's absolutely fine. Um, but this has been a fun series, and I may be back at some point in the future announcing a new director series. So thanks very much for watching. Again, leave comments below on what your thoughts about Young Ahmed is and what your thoughts on the Dardens are in general. And if you like, you can stick down your your rankings of Darden films if you like. And hopefully you'll join me again for more director series. This is Solitary Ronan from Solitary Ronan Films saying farewell from Belgium.